good afternoon everyone. Uh, this is some of our cows and calves that we let out. This is where I let them out uh, on uh, on Monday when I was videoing it. Was it Tuesday? Whatever day it was anyway. I'm actually spreading a little bit of fertilizer here at the minute on yeah, spreading it on uh, what is grazing ground. The cows, when they're finished on that side, the road come across this side. There's four fields on that side. Uh, Jerry's just out here at the minute, leveling out some of the tracks uh, that was made when we were slurrying this. This was slurried quite early on. And uh, yeah, the reason fertilizing it is, I'm not that awfully happy with how it has responded to the, to the slurry. With the bad weather and bad growth, a lot of the nitrogen, I'm sure, was lost. So this field here is actually not too bad, but uh, the far two, the far two aren't great. So what I'm putting on is uh, I'm putting on a bag and a half of a uh, can to the echo, which is a uh, it's 75 kilos per echo. And that should just help to drive it on. I have got, I actually don't, I'm, I'm just doing all four of these fields. Uh, I was down earlier and I done the previous tree. And I'm just gonna do the, the fourth field out here. I'm just gonna do it now. So um, yeah, but you can see this field, it's just not as dark or green as the, the previous field. So yeah, if it gets a little bit of rain now and a bit of heat, it'll, it'll respond well to the nitrogen. Uh, just trying to build a decent bank of grass up in front of the cows. Uh, because we are a little bit worried about how fast all the livestock are eating down the grass so since they've gotten out. So yeah, we just have to we just have to keep on top of it and try and keep pushing the grass any way we can. Uh, there's an eight acre field out here that we I actually got a little bit of footage earlier on of the rolling which probably will come up and say after I'll not upload it until after this video um, just a wee bit of drone footage and a little bit of footage of the rolling so uh, yeah Jerry was doing the driving so it was a bit of an opportunity just to get the drone out I haven't had it out all year uh, this field here is a mass of dockens docks and uh, we'll have to we have to spray this here it's part of the the rental agreement on this land is that we have to spray it so yeah so if we get these docks sprayed maybe next week we'll probably spray this field and this night the next field now just directly in front of me uh, if we get them sprayed next week uh, the cows will not be down this end of the this end grazing this for oh it'll be three weeks and say by the time they're down here so sufficient time will have passed uh, for it to be okay to to put the cows out to graze it. Uh, yeah, the worst end of it's definitely back there. There's a few then just patches here, and then net, there's a few spots here with nettles start to grow on it. Uh, but overall, it's, it's not too bad. Yeah, so I'm just heading back across. If that spread and done. So yeah, it doesn't take too long. Uh, when you're spreading at 15 meters, uh, you can get through it fairly quickly. Uh, the biggest problem really is if you haven't got somebody coming around after you to load the fertilizer and keep you loaded, all the time's lost driving forward and back to the yard. Yeah, so cows and calves are doing fairly well. We had one calf this morning. Uh, last night was quite cold once again. And uh, we had one calf this morning was, uh, he's not there, he's away with his mother now. He was there and us coming in. Uh, he had a little bit of uh, an issue where he got just a little bit of a chill overnight. Uh, we had to come down and, had to come down and treat him. But uh, you'll get that this time of the year, especially when you've big temperature changes like what we're having at the minute where it could be it could be maybe 13, 14 degrees during the day and then a swing then all of a sudden to it's only maybe 5 degrees at night. 
uh, so the calves are susceptible then to get a little bit of chill so that's what happened in that case so it was only a matter of uh, only a matter of uh, just injecting him and he should be all right this evening um, so we'll, we'll just have to see so we're back in the yard now and uh, we've got the got the fertilizer finished for today and uh, when I go back to the yard I filled the spreader again and I went and spread another another eight acres which has now been added into the silage uh, the silage rotation or silage cutting uh, acreage shall I say uh, yeah we're fairly conscious that uh, with the poor growing season that we've had so far crops are going to be well reduced back at the normal rate so that and the fact that we were a little bit short last year too so with those, those two reasons in mind we're trying to offer acreage as much as we can so um, gonna add eight acres eight acres in uh, in that field and then we've got another nine acre field that is split into three different three different uh, three acre paddocks and we may get away with just grazing one of those paddocks initially uh, while the growth is while the growth is, should be fairly good in May and June it should allow us to should allow us to cut the other six acres if we just graze graze one of the three acre paddocks so yeah we're just gonna take stock on that maybe later on I might fertilize it tomorrow if if we think we can do without it on the grazing so yeah it'll upper upper acreage a little bit and uh, it'll, it'll just help to help to uh, increase the amount of silage we'll have um, The calf that was sick last night, uh, we're down there, they're just checking him and yeah, he's made a full recovery, he's 100% now this evening, so uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's not too bad. Uh, it was quite a good day today, we had a good bit of sunshine and a lot of heat. Uh, it's clouded over a little bit now, but overall a fairly good day. A little shower uh, with hailstones uh, or rain kind of around 4 o'clock but barely wet the ground and dried up again so yeah it was good drying today I must say um, it's allowing us, to, allowing us to get a good bit of field work done and some of the jobs done which is great yeah so just finishing off Yes, yeah, so I'm just finished feeding now. Um, I've had quite a few people asking me about crypto and how we deal with it and what products we use. So I'm going to make a little standalone video on that now. Uh, as soon as I'm, as soon as actually, as soon as I get out of the tractor, um, and yeah, hopefully it can be of some benefit to uh, to anyone who has got crypto. Um, we'll just have to see. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that video. It's just a little bit of a mix-up of different things. Uh, I have got a rolling video which I'll be posting um, in the next couple of days as well. So, I hope you enjoyed this. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.